Good morning. It is Thursday, August 27th, 2020. Back here for bed talk number 114. Today, I want to talk about ownership, real ownership. And I'm going to give you kind of a pre recording warning. I'm going to quote something today that might offend you, but without that, you'll have no context for the background of this. So, some of you may have seen this if you follow sports, but about a week ago, Tom Brenneman, who is the sportscaster for the Cincinnati Reds, has been for decades, I believe, also does, I believe, Fox NFL broadcasting as well. And he was in the booth during a Cincinnati Reds game and didn't know that the mic, the mic was hot. It was on. And he said, he referred to a place. It's not clear where he was referring to the place, but this is in quotes what he said. He said, that's the fag capital of the world, close quote. And then he went on announcing the game. Now, fast forward, he was later removed from the booth during the game. He was suspended indefinitely. NFL football, uh, Fox NFL has taken him off the team. They have cut all ties with him. And this is not, though, about specifically what he said or the impact it's had on him so far. But it is about ownership, because what I'm troubled by is his apology. You can find it online. And he went on and on. He actually did it on the air before he was removed from the booth. And numerous times he said, I'm very, very sorry. I'm really sorry if I hurt anyone. It was a long apology, but here's the phrase that stuck out to me. He said, I believe this is a quote, that's not the man I am, or that's not who I am. As soon as I read that, I quit listening. And here's why. Because to me, the truth is, that is who he is. Now, I'm not here to say that that's all that he is. I'm not here to say that he's a horrible man. But by making that statement, what it tells me is there are beliefs in his head about people of difference that he has um, opinions about, and it came out. Now, you might say it just slipped, but think about it. Do we really make up harmful words because we made them up? No, they come from somewhere. And to me, his apology lost everything. And to me, there's no ownership in that other than acknowledging that he said it. And that's not what ownership is. Ownership is about taking responsibility, not only for your actions and words, but be taking ownership of the beliefs that drive those things. And I've talked to several people since then, and it's kind of disturbing because most people said he didn't have a choice because they said either way, he was screwed. If he acknowledged that he had some belief systems, he's done, but he's done because he said those things. And so often people, especially those in the media who we know about, will make so-called apologies and say things just like that. That's not who I am. And then they'll start to tell a story about what a great person they are and all the great things they do, which can also be true. This isn't about true and false. It's about ownership. And I have talked to probably hundreds of people who repeatedly say to me, I just wish, I just wish those people, whoever they are in the media, who do or say things that are harmful, would really just acknowledge it and not just apologize. Notice it, not just apology, because everyone seems to apologize. Nearly everyone apologizes, but very, very, very precious few really own it. Now, this is a live example that's in our world right now with Tom Brenneman, but I want you to think about what would it look like to really own your beliefs? Now, I'm not suggesting that you go to social media or you get in front of your team and you tell them all the things you believe. That may or may not work. And there may be a place for that if you've got great trust built up. But what I am saying is, when we do and say things, take ownership of the beliefs. I would have put him on a much higher plane. I would have actually listened to his apology if Tom Brenneman had said something like, look, that's not who I wanna be but clearly I have some beliefs in me that are hurtful and I've got work to do and I'm committed to doing that work. And I am sorry for the 
harm and the hurt that I caused and the words I used. That's leadership to me. That's actually someone that I might actually follow. I won't follow the Tom Brenneman with the apology he gave. And I won't follow leaders who don't own their beliefs and their actions and their words beyond the mere apology. So the apology is nice, but ownership is what matters. Maybe this applies to you. Maybe there's some space for you to do what has been called a recovery. Tom Brenneman didn't recover. He covered up. And there's a big difference because recovery comes from vulnerable ownership. And that's what leaders do. So that's it for today for Bed Talk number 114. Please keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And by all means, stay connected. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you think I'm crazy, put it in the comments. Make a note. If you agree, say so. If you have a different thought, let me know. I know what I hear from folks, and I believe we are hungry for vulnerable, authentic, owning leaders and leadership. See you tomorrow.